is Jimmy at The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Notion Web Clipper for both desktop and iOS. Let's start with the desktop version. I'm running on a Mac, um, so, and I'm right now using Chrome, but the Notion Web Clipper is available for both Chrome and Firefox. So, now I'm on the page I want to see this, which is this Kindle Oasis um, review. I want to clip that into a Notion page that I have set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the browser extension for Notion here in the upper right hand corner of the browser. And I'll see the title of the web page, which I can edit if I want. So if I wanted to add some additional context here, I could type it in. I can obviously save the page as is right here or hit enter. It has the same effect. Or I could click add to. Here I have a predefined page called desktop web clip page. But if I were to click this, it would give me my recent pages I've used, as well as some other databases I have here and a handful of my other pages. If I didn't, if I wanted to search for a page that's not listed in here, I would simply start typing it here in this search field and it would come up, that page would come up and then I would select it. So let's go back to the page that I want, which is the desktop clip page. I will click save page and I will get a message here with a choice. I can either open it up in the web version of Notion, or if I have the desktop app, I can click open the desktop app, which I'm going to click. It'll give me this little prompt, open Notion. I'll say open Notion and pull up Notion here. And as you can see, my desktop clip page actually now has another entry. Um, I have this, the Kindle Oasis article we were just looking at. If I click on that, I actually get a very nicely formatted uh, version of the article. Lots of, uh, basically took out all the garbage, took out all the ads, took out all the crazy formatting. It really reminds me of the simplified article view in the Evernote Web Clipper, very similar. Clips out everything else but the core content. Notion does a real good job. I've tested it on several websites and it's been pretty consistent in terms of how it's able to carve out all not non-essential data and giving you just the core content that I want to clip into, into Notion. So there you have it. That's how you do a web clipping on the desktop using Chrome or Firefox. Okay, so let's take a look at the mobile version of the Notion web clipper. So here I have my iPhone. I am going to pull up this page here on Gizmodo about the Galaxy Note 10 rumors, and I want to save that into Notion. So I will click the Share button, I will scroll over, and here I see Notion. Now, if this was the first time I was using it, I would not likely see the Notion icon there. So if I didn't see it there, I would click More, and scroll down so I saw Notion. In this case, it's toggled off, but if it was toggled off, and then I go back out by hitting Done, you'd see that that icon is no longer there. So click More, Go down to Notion, toggle it on, click Done, and now you'll see it in your list of shareable applications. You click on Notion. It will bring up the Notion Web Clipper window that has the current title of the web page, which you can edit, as well as the list of pages, a drop down menu of the pages that you can potentially save this to. I already have the one I want to save it to here, but in this case, I'm going to click Mobile. And I'm going to scroll here and you'll see the most recent page, a handful of your databases and a handful of your pages will be listed uh, sort of as default here in the drop down menu. But let's say my page wasn't listed here. I know I have that page, but it's not listed. In which case I would click on search for databases or pages. I would start typing my page name and sure enough, there it pops up in real time. I click it, I click save. And now that page is now in my Notion page, on that page. So I will get out of my web browser. I will go into Notion. And as you see, it syncs in there, the Galaxy Note 10 article. Click on that page. And as you see, I get a simplified article view of the Notion, of the article in Notion, excuse me. Um, so if you scroll down, it strips out all of the advertising all of the web formatting, all the um, banners and any other extraneous information, extraneous links outside of the core article and strips down everything but to the headline, any 
uh, and all the content that's of the article itself within the article. So any links that are in the article, any pictures that are in the article. And it does a really good job of doing that. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's exactly how you save an article um, from your mobile browser into Notion. Thank you. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you want to be notified when we come out with more videos, please click the subscribe button. Thank you.